Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create our first React Native application in Windows and how to set up React Native environment for development in Windows operation system. Let's start. Here uh, at the first we, we go uh, React Native website and here we click get started and here we can use Expo or we can like use uh, React Native uh, application for deploying in a uh, device, virtual device. In this one, you can use this one. This is good, but you can use the application on your phone, like you test in your phone. You connect with a QR code, you, you read it, but uh, this is a, another example I will show. Mostly used it is this one. And here I will show you how we can uh, set up our an environment. We will follow the instructions and do uh, what we need. Let's start. Here it says install the dependencies. As we see here, we need to install this, but before that, we need to install Coco. Let's go to the website. Here, okay, what's telling? <coughs> oh, sure. yeah, here. For Windows, we will copy this one for installing Coco. Let's go. PowerShell, we run it as an administrator. And here, we copy what we do it before and it will start to download the application it's waited and it finished let's check it so <clears throat> okay we install Coco this, this part is finished now let's install the dependencies as it's telling what it says. Mm. We need to run cmd with administrator. Let's try again. Okay, what else? I have, yes. I have this uh, packages, that's why it didn't install. So uh, when you run it, just you will wait a bit and it will be installed. Nothing else you need. I close here so. And let's go the other. Okay, we install these things and let's install this. <clears throat> we go one by one step by step okay this finished let's come here we will install Android Studio here I just want to tell you something and um, as we go here if you want to uh, create a native application from Windows in Windows operation system we can only create Android uh, application react native Android application if we had macOS, we could create both e iOS and an Android. But for now, we have Windows and we can only create Android. Okay, here we download um, Android Studio. We click download and we click this and start to download. I already have, so I won't wait it. I I, put in, I go to download it now. Mm. Here I have, I just open it. I open what I download, it's Android Studio. I'm waiting it to finish, I close the things. Here. Still waiting. Okay. Okay, okay, just this. 
it gives me this error because it says uh, I already have but don't worry you, you won't get this error you will just click next next and all next it will be installed it will take time so I will uh, stop the video and continue later it's still, still installing it took some minutes for finishing please you click next and start Android Studio By the way, I'm reading details. Okay, here in this step, actually, when you start your Android Studio for the first time, it will uh, there will be a um, window, and you will just click next. It will install a Android Device Manager. This one, I mean. So don't worry uh, about it, just click install, I mean X and it will install. After that, we will be able to create a, a virtual device here. We click, click create virtual device. Here you can choose which one you want. This one. Should I download? Okay. This one. Okay, download. When you choose one of them, uh, you here in Pi example, I already have it, I download it. So, which one you want to choose, you will click download button here. And it will download. I already have. Uh, that's why. So I, I uh, before I click download, so I, I won't click again. Uh, I did it before because it takes time. Uh, my connection is not very good. So I want you to download it as I did here. After you download it, you will see. I uh, won't see here download option. So you will click next. Here uh, you don't need to change anything. You click finish. And uh, we created our virtual uh, device. Now we will click start launch. So we are waiting now. It gave error because I clicked twice. So our emulator is open here. It is our. We can resize it by the way. If sometimes it's, it's been very big. We can make bigger and smaller. And by the way, I am waiting it to start. Okay, we did the things from here till here. Let's continue with all of these things. And here we need some environments for in uh, for in. Okay, tell us we need to add this um, variable in our general variable. Here I, I will show you. You go to your computer properties. Here, you click here. It's Turkish. Sorry for that, but uh, you can click like the last one here, and you click here. It's we will add a new variable. I will add new one. The name is. Android home here you, you add only your uh, computer your username which one you uh, open the session yeah, example how, how can I say you go let me sorry like this yeah here it's my user you, uh, you change it with your name, username. You tell, okay. We add this. That's great. Later, we need to add this uh, to the path. Don't mix it. Here, there is a path. Yeah. Here, we tell, edit it and add a new one. 
Here also we change username to our computer username. Okay, 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 done. Now we are ready to create a new application. You can open CMD. Go mm, uh, my files are in D uh, here I, I will write here at my tipa. Now I can create my first React Native right click of my mouse, then I click enter, press enter, sorry. And now it's creating the uh, in, it's installing the de dependencies. And also, it's creating my first React Native application. I'm waiting. It can take time a bit, so I will stop it. Instead of stopping, I want to explain you what we did, what we are doing. We install uh, Android Studio, and we create a new Android virtual device. It's, it's open. Our virtual device it's running so i can close this and this and i check my first react Net native application creating and see how is it going it's a bit complicated but uh, if you follow the instruction here do everything you won't have any problem. I I, I receive a question like the the people are having uh, the problem of installing React Native environments, so I need to take this video. After this, we will be able to run our application on virtual device. It seems finishing flat. Wow. taking time hmm. also it can depends on your machine computer I mean and uh, on your internet connection that's why maybe my is taking longer time still waiting I will uh, I was going to stop but it finished okay. Now uh, let's see what should we do. Where we were, where we were, we were here. We create our application. Hmm. Okay, great things. After that, we will run our first native React Native application. We go with the uh, folder we created. Look, it's here. It created the the folder and files. So in CMD panel, I will enter. Uh, the folder the project we created now I'm in there so here I will run this I mean react run Android as I told you we are uh, on Windows so that's why we are running our application on Android here I click it and let's see what will happen another uh, CMD uh, screen is open every time it's like this we won't need to do anything here it just we wait like this it's doing the environment for us and it will be like this it means let's watch our emulator which machine <coughs> By the way, uh, the first time you run your uh, application in emulate uh, virtual machine, it takes time, but later uh, it won't take time like this. Also here I will open my project in Visual Studio Code. 
just want to close the unnecessary things here. We'll close this and we'll close this. Let's see how is it going. It's in 27%. I will stop the video. Let pause the video. It seems ah yes, it's finished. Now the our project should run on emulator. Yes, we are waiting still. Yeah, it's here. Our project is running now. We did all the things, succeed, and resulted we uh, finished setting the environment for our project. Thank you for watching. And now our project is ready. Uh, in this video, we were just uh, I was just showing you how to set up our environment for Windows. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please press like button. And if you want, follow me for the next videos. Uh, there will be um, React Native ap applications I will write. Or if you want a specific application, uh, write it in, in React Native. You can write in comments, so I do it for you. Thank you for watching. See you next video.